Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and today I am praying for the truth to come through the cards as to whether or not Matt Gates is guilty of having a relationship, any type of sexual relationship or sex trafficking or anything like that because he's been linked with this guy named Joel Greenberg who's been I, uh, I think in, investigated and, and indicted, I believe, for sex trafficking, which happened, you know, like last year, I think, or the year before, somewhere in there. But anyway, Matt Gates is being investigated, and I want to know whether or not he's guilty. He's saying that he's been, or he's being extorted, that, that he and his family, his wealthy father, are being extorted. I, um, but. But we'll see. I, I only want the truth, and I'm going to use the tarot. I think I'm going to use the Lanaman as well as the Kipper, and we'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, I'm going to drop the camera down. Be right back. Okay, so starting with the tarot, let's look at the forces in motion around this situation in his life. Goodness. His uh, challenge. Ooh. Okay. So uh, let's do at least two cards here. Yeah, let's do two cards. No, actually. I have four cards here to show me the past, whether or not he's guilty. What is what has he done? if he's done anything or not. Let's see. Wow. Oh boy. Okay. So now let's look at uh, presently up here two cards for is he telling the truth is he being extorted or is he lying what is, what is the truth I guess he went on Tucker Carlson I saw a little clip of it and even Tucker looked puzzled around the um, uh, questions Well, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to decide. Well, it's okay. I'll I'll leave it this way. Let's do four cards here for his uh, his his future. What is coming towards him? What is his future based in this? Um, this situation. Okay. So let me move these aside so that we can kind of keep things a little bit separate. Okay, so with the forces in motion being the Queen of Cups reversed, this has to do with emotional manipulation. This has to do with not um, honoring what is sacred. Now an older man, he's not that old, but he's much older than this 17 year old girl that uh, he's being accused of having a relationship with. And it's obvious that obviously uh, it's, it's a truthful situation that he's been hanging out with Roger Stone and um, this Joel Greenberg guy, because there's pictures of him, or at least there were, but I, I saw pictures of him, all three of them together, in front of the White House with, um, with the, two, the two of them, you know, on Twitter. I saw them on Twitter. So, but they're out there and available if you want to look for those. So he's been partying with a sex trafficker. With a, with a guilty sex trafficker. He's been hanging out with them. 
Yeah. His biggest challenge is, is to manage his power. Notice the phallic symbol here in this card. This card often relates to, you know, because all the wands have to do with actions and power. And, you know, when the card's reversed, obviously, it's, it's a sign of, like, impotence or having problems with your life force. Well, his, his problem is how to manage it, how to manage his power. And maybe how to manage his sexuality. Wow. But with this Queen of Cups reversed, it, it, what's, you know, the, the situation, the forces in motion with this actual situation is, is that um, he's been untrustworthy. Well, somehow there's an untrustworthy element to this. Uh, and he might be, this is often sometimes a card of someone who's uh, dishonest and manipulative, but somewhat intelligent. So this is interesting. Okay. So I don't know who this is in his life. Maybe it's his mother, or, or maybe an aspect of him. But I tend to look at the pages and the knights as more aspects of um, you know, our uh, actions and kind of moving forward and, and the queens and kings, I tend to look at them as more as uh, people. So I don't know who this is. It wouldn't be the young girl, but it could be a, it could be a woman. It could be his mother. It could be Matt Gates's mother that he has issues with. But, but then again, my key meaning for this card has always been, when I got a meditation years ago, was that it's, it, it has to do mostly with um, nurturing and devotion, of course, but honoring all that is sacred. So if you're with somebody who's underage, that is not honoring what is sacred. So I think this could be a card about guilt. Now, his actions in the past... With the Ten of Cups, he's been, you know, connected with his family. I suppose we could say that he might have been acting in ways that keeps him, uh, you know, contented within his family and kind of, you know, a peaceful place with his family. But then we have the Lover's card. So if this is indicating a relationship with this person, maybe she was kind of willing and he has been with her and he's happy and content, even though it wasn't a good choice and even though he's denying it now. Because this is a card of children, you know, underage. This is, this is a card of somebody much younger. And, and th this is the family card. And then the Eight of Wands is all about all this, you know, news that's coming down. Of course, the um, the Lover's card, you know, can be about relationships. It's really about, you know, the, the choice for a relationship. Um, it's, it's all about attraction. And it can also be about temptation because... I mean, you can see she's looking up at the angel here, like, is this the right guy? He's just looking at her. So it's often about attraction and lust and, um, you know, the erotic force, you know, eros. Um, it can very much be about temptation. And it... <laughs> So so what so he's attracted to younger women is what I'm seeing here because that's that's what the 6 of cups is all about it's the card of children and siblings and you know could be a past acquaintance as well a past somebody that he knows from the past and it could be somebody that he has known 
either he knows her family, it's possible that he knows her family or she knew his family. And then and then again, like I was saying, with all this with this eight of wands, I, I'm thinking this has to do with tons of um Well, you know what though? Because of these, you know, because all the cards influence, influence each other, I think that I think that it's very possible that he 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 that he is guilty of it, and he did meet her through his family or her family, and then there was this impulsive like attraction where he didn't he didn't make the right choice and he just went for it. You know, maybe maybe it was reciprocal with her. There's that possibility. Because this can, you know, move towards towards love, but I read directionally and it looks to me like it's moved towards sex. Uh okay, so so up here presently what's going on what he's doing is he's working closely. I think this is his father that's going to try to get him out of the situation, or maybe even her father. This this is this is somebody who's protective here. I don't see extortion. None of these cards relate to extortion with what's going on. I I don't think I don't think the three of cups. I mean I'm sorry, three of pentacles could be about extortion it's about it's more about teamwork and um you know collaboration it also can be about some type of a transaction though but then who's this guy unless it's just the protective father so now you can see why I have to use the the Lunaman and the Kipper. <laughs> you can see why I never just stuck with Tarot. All right, so, but his future, with what's going on in his future, with the uh, King of Wands reversed, um, this is a corrupt person, this is corruption, this is... Um, could be It could be guilty, you know, the, like the law that's coming down on him. You know, the wands are all about action, but with it being reversed, it, this would be action from somebody who's in charge, but it's going the wrong way. Um, this is like somebody very ruthless. And then with this, you know, because it's hanging over the six of um, swords reversed, well, this means, you know, if it has to do with immigration or getting to a more peaceful place, it, it's failure in that regards, you know. It's not, the, the, you know, you're going to get caught on all these swords that are hanging up in the air. And you're not going to get to the calm, peaceful place that you want to get to, you know, successfully. This could be a lawsuit because somebody does want to get back at him. And then this could be uh, the, you know, the result of the lawsuit that does not go in his favor. Sometimes both of these two are just like a lack of movement because the wands, all the wands, they move. And so when they're reversed, they do not. If this were an immigration card and you get it reversed, then, you know, if it was, the question was about immigration or even travel, either one of these two cards, if you got it reversed, it would say, no, don't, you know, it's not the right time or it won't work or travel plans will go off in some direction that you don't want to, you know, deal with, um, you know, like crazy layovers and things like that. Uh, so, but anyway, to, with this, I feel like it's a lawsuit that doesn't go well for him at all. And then over here with the tower reversed, um, 
well, it could be that it's false in the future. It could be that it's false accusations. That's possible. I, it could also be some type of oppression. I, sometimes, though, when this card comes through reversed, it's imprisonment. And this is definitely the law. The King of Swords straight up is absolutely the law. So um, this is somebody who's, uh, this is a lawsuit. This is a lawsuit. Yeah. So, well, yeah, they already are investigating him, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drop the camera down and use the, um, the. I think I'll use the Lunamon first to show whether or not there's guilt and then what will come of it with the Kipper. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm using this little deck here. And uh, first what I want to look at is whether or not he's guilty. So I guess I'm mostly looking at the past. What's his history here with this? Basically what what is what is what has he done? Oh boy. Okay. Well, if you guys, are, if any of you are completely out of time, the short answer here, I think, is is yes, and I'll tell you why. Okay. So we've got the lion right here, which is a predator. We have the letter, which shows probably text communication, texting. We have the moon that shows, you know, what he's attracted to. The stars tells me it's also online. He's got a major conflict there with his money and his power with the uh, bear. And the cat shows that he's, um, he's selfish. N not to put down kitties at all, but, you know, they kind of, they have a mind of their own. <laughs> all right. So, let's dive in. So, his online uh, looking, his online, you know, situation uh, has been going on for a long time. He goes there to try to get some type of a, you know, like peace and harmony out of the situation. But he's attracted to foreign women. This is the card of Predator. With the book, it's secret. So he's been a secret predator. And because these two cards here touch... All these cards, these four cards here, they all touch. Uh, he's been a predator over women, younger women, I think, younger. Secrets about liking younger women and um, foreign, also foreign. I don't know anything about the 17-year-old, but he. this tells me he likes foreign uh, women. Okay, and it's toxic. His predatory nature is toxic. And his, um, 
his honor and his reputation is going to be lost. This is this is ruined. His reputation is going to be ruined about it, you know, over it. Uh, besides this online, like widespread <clears throat> predatory nature, selfish, very selfish that he has. <clears throat> Excuse me. He also um, he has this intention to watch. He just likes to watch, and I think he likes to be in control, and that's his major inner conflict there, which would be why someone his age would go after somebody much younger and and also have it be very much uh, online as well. As far as like sex trafficking, I don't see that here, and the reason is is we don't have... You don't have this card, don't have the fox, I don't have, uh, let me show you the little, we don't have this card which shows the movement of something, you know, across the land. Although there could be, there could be some movement here. Um, and, but we don't have this card which would show like, you know, money being exchanged or, you know, the money going out to somewhere or the other. So, I think, I, I can't, I can't say that he's, like, guilty of, um, sex trafficking. And I honestly can't even really say, because I didn't get, I didn't get the, um, where's the cross? I didn't get the cross in here. For anyone that's trying to learn this system, the cross shows guilt. So I, I, I don't see that, but I do see that he likes to look. And they are watching him. And he, he is not to be trusted with children. Even though I don't see the, uh, the cross here, there's guilt on a different level. So I don't see that he's in, involved with um, any type of sex trafficking. Although, although, you know, the snake is not to be trusted at all. The snake is all about, you know, dangerous enemies. And then with the bear over here, this does have to do with money. So maybe money, there's a conflict of money. But it's also about just control and power that's complicated. And of course, you know, there, there's sexuality within the snake card as well. But I still, I, you guys, I get this, I, I really just get this feeling that he mostly just likes to watch younger girls online he likes to watch porn online with the, of younger girls. That's clearly what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's... Um, that's what I've got with the Lenormand. Let's look at... Um, let's use the Kipper. So this little Fun de Cicle, something like that, Kipper. Chira Marchetti. And this one I want to see... Uh, what's his legal future over this? What will come of this? What will the consequences be to him? Okay, so Marie. Oh 
good. No glare. Yay. Okay. So, uh, the theme here has to do with his work. So, there was talk of him leaving. Uh, so, I think he is, because his work is ending. So, the consequences to him, and maybe he's just tired of it, you know, but anyway, his work is ending. There's money issues. But there could be, so th this would be the card of the investigation. And I don't know if this has to do with his time at the White House or if this is into his, you know, his actual family. You know, these two cards are bookending each other. But it does look like the investigation will end as well as his job. Um... So he's just kind of like waiting and and hoping and wishing that he gets what he wants. But um and also I think I I don't remember for sure, but I think this card means that it as far as timing goes, that it could take about three months. I uh, so, but this false person here, let's see. So, because this is this is legally, so he, there is court, but there. So, but legally, this card has to do with a loss, and somebody who's uh, you know lying and cheating, and trying to get out from under the issue. But I'm not seeing the extortion. I, do, I don't have cards here that would reveal extortion, in, unless extortion could come through with this card. If that's the case, it's, it's an older woman who's doing the extorting, which... But it is going to end his career. So whether or not it comes out that it, there's any extortion, This, the main male would be him, so this isn't him, but this is somebody else uh, who is probably about his age, maybe even younger, and has money. If it's not a person, because it doesn't always have to be, this would be, uh, you know, his ambition and his planning his career. But it's touching the coffin card, so there's an ending. And this is literally his work. And then because this poverty card here, uh, I mean, this card is like not even making ends meet. So if there is extortion going on, whoever, you know, if they're trying to extort his parents, there's not the ability to pay that amount of money. But I think the extortion is actually a lie, and that's what the investigation will reveal. And that's, that's what will end his career as well. And then with the courthouse here, I'm... Um, you know, of course, this is the, the legal issue. So it, this could be another person as well as him, but he is definitely going to be going to court about it, or there, there will be pressing charges. There will be some type of a hearing about it. And there will also be some, you know, decision made. There will be like, you know, the investigation, and the decision... And it's going to be public. And then, of course, it has everything to do with his honor.
Well, this is confusing having this card here as well. Well, it could just be his because this house knights over to the coffin, and this this is always a painful ending and loss. This could be uh, real estate, you know, the family or his home. I don't know if he, he probably lives with his parents. I wouldn't be surprised. But whatever, who, yeah, this there's going to be a loss here. Because it's not secure. This would be your security and your stability, but it's all ending. And his occupation, you know, his, um, his, his, his term, he's in, in his term, he's going to be seen as this liar. And that's, you know, the, the honor, I think, is ending because of the court proceeding. Whatever whatever hearings happen, the information will come out, and his I think his honor is gone. His honor is gone. But I didn't get um, I didn't get any cards to show uh, to see that see that he's locked up because it might be. I mean, if I look at uh, if I remember back on all the other cards, I can't say for sure that he's even like really guilty. That would be the woman in question, I think. Well, now there we have the imprisonment card. That's interesting. And then that's the partnership, the connection. It doesn't have to be marriage. It would just be part the partnership. Um... Wow. So Yeah, because he's not married, so this would have to be the well, but I don't know if he's in a relationship with someone else. But this is this is this would be uh, someone he's in a relationship with. This is really interesting. So again, this like community that he knows, people that he knows. Just like with the uh, you know the tarot cards, uh, look like the happy family kind of a thing. This definitely, the mature woman down here could definitely be his mother. But the main female here, I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is in his life, and it's always a person. But it's the person that's important in the reading. So I think this is the, the the younger gal or the person that he's in relationship with. And somebody is, if they're not locked up, they are restricted because of this connection and this partnership. This could even be a roommate, you know, housemate type of a thing, somebody who shares your, your home, you know. Um, it could also be saying on another level that he just feels locked out and lonely and he's not, he's not able to have, you know, a strong, healthy bond with somebody. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. I'm not, I'm not, I mean... I wanted to know about his legal future, and I do have the imprisonment card here. So if, okay, I get it. His legal future could be that there's a group of people, and there's a, there's a female that's very important to the situation, and somebody's going to prison, I think it could be him, or locked up for some time because of his bond with this person. 
I mean, I don't know. Did he have some connection with... Nah, I don't know that he had any connection with Ghislaine Maxwell, honestly. But this is a community of people who are not to be trusted. And there's some, I feel like, like the head honcho or heffa, you know, would, is, is a female. Yeah. And, and it, he does, it could be that he does get locked up because of his connection, his bond with this, this person. Okay. Sorry it took me so long to get there. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> well, that's all I have for Matt Gates. Let's see if um, see if he gets any more DUIs too. Goodness. Okay. Thanks you guys for hanging in there with me. I so appreciate it. Okay. Bye. <laughs>